Hi, welcome to the course of Biophysics 1. My name is Bahad Rahmanov. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the measurements of the radiation effects, and we're going to solve the problems on that. So we, before we do this, we're going to quickly review all the topics which you've learned so far. And if you would like to learn about the measurements of the radiation in more detail, just go to the lecture video. So we first of all are going to denote the units of radiation. So we call the, the radiation, which is deposited in, in a human body or the tissue as a dose. And we're going to measure this as the energy deposited over the mass, for example. So this measurement is called the absorbed dose, which is going to be energy absorbed, absorbed by the material uh, during the interaction with the radiation divided by the mass of absorbing material. And the unit of the radiation is called the gray, which is going to be equal to the energy, the units of the energy, which is joule, or the units of the mass, kilogram. And uh, if, so one gray of dose radiation is really big because uh, you, you can imagine, so for example, just for the comparison, one gray of radiation is, um, uh, may cause the 1,000 single DNA strength right, breaks. So there is a connection. If you would like to know whether there is a connection between the energy changed and the radiation, there is a formula which enables you to calculate this quantitatively. So the energy is going to be equal to the C times M times the dot T, where the C is going to be the spatial material parameter times the mass of the material times the change of the temperature. And if I would like to know, hey, how much the temperature is changing if I apply this amount of the radiation to the human body, then I can find the delta T from this formula. So the C and M goes to the, is, is going, are going to the left and to the as a denominator. And here, the energy over the mass is going to give me, again, the radiation, right? So for example, if I would like to know, hey, what is the temperature change if I apply eight grades of radiation? The eight grades of radiation is eight joules applied to the one kilogram of the material. And, if you, uh, and, and, as the, and you should know that this is lethal for mass of the cells. So I, I just would like to calculate the delta T. So the delta T here is going to be the energy, which is eight joules over one kilogram times one over 4,000. This is the value of the spatial heat parameter for the water. And if I calculate this, it's going to be equal to the two over 1,000 kelvins, which is like a really tiny change, right? Two millikelvin change, even if I apply the huge radiation to the human body. So we are going to measure the radiation differently, like uh, with the physical uh, measurements or the biologically. So they, there are two types of physical measurements of the radiation. One is called the exposure, another one is called the kerma. And there are two types of the biological measurements of the radiation. One is called the uh, equivalent dose, and another one is called the effective dose. So let's go through all of these four measurements of the radiation very quickly. So the exposure is the uh, amount of the charge, positively or negatively charged, uh, generated by the x-ray or gamma ray radiation in a body of unit mass. And we're going to just count this as, like, as counting the charge and dividing this to the mass of the material where this radiation is happening. And the units of the exposure is going to be the column over the kilogram. So the column is the unit of the charge divided to the kilogram, the charge, the unit of the mass. So another way of measuring the radiation physically is called the kerma, which is the kinetic energy released to the matter. So the kerma is the, measure, uh, is the measurement of the amount of the energy that is transferred from the photons to the electrons per unit mass at a certain position. And we are going to yeah, like measure this with the same units as the absorbed dose. It's going to be the joules or kilograms. And we're going to call this again and as the grades. So there is a slight difference between the absorbed dose and the kerma. So the absorbed dose is the measurement of the energy deposited uh, in a unit of mass at a certain position. And the kerma is the measurement of the amount of the energy that is transferred from the photons to the electrons. So th there is a slight change in the definition as well, right? So, uh, uh, so for most of the slow, uh, low energetic radiation, the measurements so the values of the kerma and the absorbed dose are going to be the same. And the kerma is going to be different if we are dealing with the high, highly energetic radiation. So, so both of these types, so the three, we've learned about the three types of the measurements, like the kerma, absorbed dose, and the equivalent, uh, and the exposure. They're all physical measurements because we're not, we're dealing only with the energy or the charge per kilogram of the, of the mass. 
But at the same time, it appears, depending on the type of the radiation, the effects of the radiation to the human body, biologically, by the different. So basically, the alpha radiation is much more damageful than the beta radiation. So that's why we need to take this into the account, and we are going to call this as the equivalent dose when we count, uh, measure the absorbed dose to the tissue, which is denoted by the T, and we multiply this to the type of the radiation with the weighting factor WR. So basically, the dose is going to be calculated at this weighting factor, depending on the radiation type, times to the dose. So this dose can be measured, for example, as the observed dose or the therma. And if you remember, the, the units of the dose was like joules, per kilogram or the gray, right? And if you just multiply this to this unitless number, which is the weight of the radiation, the, apparently the, the unit of this dose becomes different and we're going to call this as a sievert. So you should just know that the, uh, for the photons or the electrons, the weight is going to be equal to the one. And for the alpha particles, alpha radiation, the weight is equal to the 20. It means that so the alpha radiation is 20 times more damageful than the beta radiation. So this is just what you just need to know. So, so all of these measurements are really nice, right? So now we've got like a, the measurement where we are going to measure, hey, how much radiation I'm getting into my, uh, into my body. And I'm just basically, again, differentiating the radiation depending on the types of the radiation. But what... I'm not taking into the consideration here in the equivalent dose is that which type of the body, which, which organ of the body is taking this radiation. And at a piece, I need to take this into the account as well at, at the biological level because different organs are going to like, react to the radiation differently. So the effective dose is, the calculate, uh, is calculated using the mean absorbed dose deposited in the body tissue with a weight parameter multiplied to the weight of the radiation type. So this is very similar to the equivalent dose, where, but we're just multiplying this to the WT, which is going to be the weight of the organ. So again, so the mass units of the dose is going to be the gray, but if you multiply the gray to the weight of the radiation or to the weight of the organ, then the unit of this um, measurement is going to be the sievert again. So the sievert is the same as a, uh, as a gray, but just multiply to some weight. So there is a table which, is, uh, which gives us the weight of all the organs. For example, the gonads are going to have the weight like 20% or 0.2. Bone marrow is going to be 0.12. Or for example, the liver or the breast is going to be equal to the 0.05. The skin or the bone surface are going to be 0.01. And as a sum, it's going to be give us the one. So the sum of all the weights. So basically, as a whole body, we, got, we are going to get A. So this is the weight one. And we're just going to distribute um, this weight into the different organs differently, depending on, like, on the reaction to the radiation. So now let's go through the problems. So we're going to um, solve eight problems on the measurements of the radiation. The problem one and two are going to be theoretical. So the problem number one asks us what is the, so the column of uh, energetic um, electric charge produced per kilogram of air is a measurement of what? So the key word here is the column, right? So the column, so the, the amount of the charge deposited by the material per unit of mass is called the exposure. So the problem number two is again the theoretical, the radiation measurement describing the energy of ionization per kilogram of absorbed mass is what? So if you remember, the ionization is basically when the uh, photon is transferring its energy to the electron, right? So, so that it's ionized the electron. So the amount of the energy which is transferred from the, by the, from the photon to the electron per unit mass of the material is called the kerma. So problem number three is a little bit more theoretical or more practical. So a radiographic, radiographic uh, exposure results of 0.018 joules of energy absorbed by the liver. If the liver weighs 0.9, what is the total radiation absorbed by the liver? So we just need to find physical measurement of the radiation in this case. If you remember, we measure the absorbed dose by dividing the energy deposited in the material divided to the, um, to the mass of the material. So the energy in this case is going to be 0.018 joules divided to the mass, which is 0.9 joules. 
And if you calculate this, it's going to be 0 0.002 uh, gray. So this is the amount of the dose which is um, obtained by the liver. So the answer here is the A, 0 0.002 gray. Problem number two. A radiation work, uh, worker received a gonadal dose of 25 milligray over the course of during a year. If 100% of the dose was X-ray, well, it's a value of the equivalent dose. And if you remember the equivalent dose, it's basically the, uh, uh, the multiplication of the amount of the dose, absor amount of the absorbed dose, times the weight of the, uh, of the radiation. So in this case, uh, the radiographer is taking the radiation, X-ray radiation, right? And the weight of the X-ray is equal to the one. So the amount of the absorbed dose is equal to 25 milligrays. And if I just multiply them, it's going to be equal to the 25 millisievert. And here, it's again, it's, it's going to be the answer B. So the answer B, it's 25 millisievert. So please note that you see, so I'm just multiplying 25 to just one, which is unitless. And it becomes like a C word. So there, there is a like so mathematically there is no difference between the C word and the gray. So they are the same. But like C word, it just multiplied to some weighting number to the gray. So problem number five: the thyroid of uh, thyroid thyroid of radiation walker is exposed to an absorbed dose of ten milligray from an alpha. Uh, radiation, calculate the effective dose. So if you remember, so the effective dose is calculated by multiplying the amount of the absorbed dose to the weight of the radiation, multiplied to the weight of the organ, right? So from here, so I need to first of all find the weight of the organ, so in this case the thyroid, so from here I, I'm going to find this, so the thyroid gland is going to be 0 0.05, so the weight of the organ is going to be 0 0.05. So here it, it says me that the radiation type is the alpha radiation. The weight for the alpha radiation is equal to um, 20, right? So the weight for the alpha radiation is equal to the 20, and the weight for the beta and photon uh, um, gamma radiation is equal to the 1. And the dose, the amount of the dose is equal to the 10 milligrays. Then I just need to multiply them. The multiplication is going to give me again the 10 millisievert, right? And here the, uh, the correct answer is going to be equal to the A again. Then the problem number six, during the AP scoliosis X-ray, the patient has received a radiation dose of three milligray into his breast, uh, gonads, and the stomach. What is the total effective dose? Again, I'm going to write down the formula and I will give you the table and let's discuss this. So, so every time when we wrote down the equivalent or the, uh, or the effective dose, we put here the sum. So the sum stands here, basically, we are going to measure the radiation obtained by the different uh, organs. And they, they might be taking the radiation that was a different type, even, right? And then we're going to sum all of the doses. So in this case, the, the patient is receiving the radiation into his breeze, gonads, and the stomach. We are going to, first of all, measure the radiation, the dose of the radiation for each of the organs, then we're going to sum those, all of the doses. So, for the, so in, in order to do this, we need to multiply the weight uh, of the breast times the weight of the radiation. So in this case, the X-ray radiation is taken right by the patient times the dose plus, so because the summation stands here for the summation of the, all the doses taken by the, by the all the different types of the body organs. So the weight of the gonads times, times the weight of the x-ray times the dose plus the weight of the stomach times the weight of the x-ray times the um, dose. And if you see, so in all of the three parts, so the weight of the x-ray and the dose are the same for the three terms and I can take them out from the brackets, right? And inside the brackets I will just have a summation of the weights of the organs, of the three organs, right? So from this table, I would like to find the weight of the breeze. So here I will go from this table and I will find here it's equal to the 0 0.05. The weight of the gonads here is going to be equal to the 20, 0 0.12. And the weight of the stomach is going to be equal to the 0 0.12. Okay, so if I sum them, it's going to be equal to the 0 0.37. So 
So I just need to multiply the 0 0.77 to the weight of the radiation. So for the X-ray, it's going to be it's a, it's a gamma radiation, right? It's equal to the 1 times the dose, which is 3 milli uh, rays. And if I just multiply this, it's going to be equal to the 1.1 milliseries. So the correct answer is here is equal to the C. So problem number 7, an accident in a nuclear facility resulted in a whole body absorbed dose of 56 milligrams. What is the effective dose? So there was a hint, the nuclear facility radiates with an X-ray beam. So this is important because in this case, we know the weight of the radiation type, right? So again, we are going to find out the effective dose using this formula, right? So again, what we need to do is, since the whole body is taking the radiation, we need to basically measure how each organ is taking the radiation the dose for each organ, then again, at the end, we need to sum all of the doses, right? So for example, we need to start with the gonads, how much radiation is taken by the gonads, plus the how much radiation is taken by the uh, bound marrow, plus and so on, and I, we need to go until the end in this list, right? So until the how much radiation is taken by the bone surface, for example. And if you see, so for all of these terms, this one, which is the weight of the radiation for the X-ray, right, or the gamma ray, times the 56, which is the absorbed dose, is the same. And we can take them out from the brackets. And inside the brackets, we are going to have the sum of all the weights for all the organs. And then we know that, we know that the sum of all the weights for all the organs is equal to the one, right? So if I just take out this one times 56 from the brackets, I will have the sum of the weights, which is equal to one. So in this case, it's going to be one times one, which is the type of the radiation times the 56. It's going to be equal to the 56 milli sievert. In this case, the correct answer is going to be equal to the A. So in the last problem, problem number eight, basically, what is the temperature change at a region where four ray of radiation is applied? So we just solved this in the beginning of the uh, of the lecture, right? So they, when the eight kilogram, uh, eight ray of the radiation May, uh, may cause as a change of the energy by 2 milli Kelvin, and, and, and the 4 gray of radiation may change the temperature to the 1 milli Kelvin, and we can just put all everything to this formula, so the change of the temperature is going to be equal to the energy deposited by the, what, by the kilogram of the material times 1 over the spatial kit parameter of the material, the water it's going to be equal to 4000 and if i just calculate this it's going to be equal to the one millikelvin and the correct answer is going to be